What's up guys, Fluffy Game here. Time for some more pickups. Alright guys, so as you guys saw, I went back to the Kobe Swap Meet. And I got some games, and I got some movies too. Um, started off kind of slow for the day. Picked up this PlayStation 2 game for two bucks called uh, Project Eden. Take a sample and send it up here on the access list. Oh. Don't know anything about it. And also for two bucks I picked up Sealed, a copy of The Muppet Show Season 2, Sealed. It's The Muppet Show with our very special guest star, Mr. Julian Not bad for two bucks. Um, I did finally get one of the games that I've been looking for for a long time. And for the price, I couldn't pass it up. For 30 bucks, I finally got me a copy of the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition promo disc for the GameCube. Now I can play the original Zelda, Adventures of Link, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask all on the GameCube. That's pretty sweet. All right, and let's see. Next place that I hit up was Eric. Coolest brother on the planet, as always. Um, I picked up a PS1 game, and I hope I don't have this one, but for three bucks, I picked up Superstar Dance Club number one hits. Don't ask me why I picked it up, but I did. And then for the Dreamcast, I picked up a game called 4x4 Evolution. four bucks I'll pick it up but what I'm really excited about and this is probably the most expensive game that I bought this week uh, for the Sega Genesis it's up there in price this this game's worth like 90 bucks and I ended up getting it off of Eric and he knew what it was worth but he's always hooking me up as always um, he hooked me up with a complete copy of Mutant League Hockey $65. I ain't passing that up. That's a great deal for this game. Um, he also hooked me up with one more game, a PC game, which I bought one from him before because it's worth like 80 bucks. And he's got a crap load of them. I don't know why he wanted, I don't know why he was willing to give it to me when he could easily make 80 bucks off it. I got it for 35 bucks. It's worth 80. And I got myself another copy of Battle for Middle Earth 2. Send him over. He knows I'm going to sell it. He wants me to make a little bit of money off of it. So, always hooking me up. And then I ended up finding me a hat at another booth. It's actually a pretty cool hat. Um, I might start going hunting with this one. And it's actually a Zelda hat. Ah, got the cool Zelda emblem right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty tight right there. Yeah. yeah. Might as well finish out this video with this. Nice brand new hat that I got for 10 bucks. Pretty cool. I've never seen it before. So, <laughs> I ended up hitting up Leo's booth, and there was an Easter basket set up. I thought it was just for display purposes. I thought it would be funny and say, oh, what is, is, that, is that for OGP? Turns out it wasn't for him. It was actually for me. And there was a bunch of stuff in there. In fact, there was some games. There were some movies. Uh, the games that were in there uh, in the Easter basket was Robotech Battle Cry. <laughs> Which is pretty much why I asked if it was for OGP, being that he's a big Robotech fan. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that one, but if not, that one will definitely go in my collection. Uh, and also, I don't have this one. Dual Masters Limited Edition. The cover looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's only worth like 6 7 bucks if I remember correctly. Uh, but definitely glad to have that one. You can't beat free. He hooked me up with some, uh, some pretty good movies as well. Yeah, some uh, some horror movies. Uh, the first one was uh, it's a Wes Craven movie called Carnivals of Souls. Between memory, I need some help here. Never seen that one. This one, I'm pretty sure I don't have, but it's a John Carpenter's movie, In the Mouth of Madness. Writer Sutter Kane, a harmless pop phenomenon, 
or a deadly mad profit of the printed page. Good movie right there. And then this one, Jolly Rogers Massacre at Cutter's Cove. It's you, you salty scum. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that one. Looks kind of interesting on the back. It's from the asylum. And then the last one that was in the Easter basket was uh, Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes. Here's Pumpkinhead is back to seek revenge. And I've never seen that one either. So I got some movies to watch. I got some games to play. Um, but I ended up buying a couple games from him as well. First three that I got were Dreamcast games. He had a bunch of Dreamcast games. Most of them I already had, mainly sports, but he was selling them for two bucks each. First one that I got, which I didn't have, was uh, uh, Sega Sports Tennis 2K2. William to serve. With the Serena, uh, the Williams sisters, I think it is. Yeah. And then uh, Virtual Tennis, which I, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. If I do, it's going in the thousand subscriber prize giveaway. If it, if I if I got it already, um, the last one that I got is uh, Sega Marine Fishing. Which I just went over to the book off store earlier today, and they got a ten dollar price tag on that one. So pretty glad to get that one for two bucks. Um, and then I also picked up a Super Nintendo game, Super Empire Strike Back. For ten bucks. Not bad. I now have all three of these. I got the trilogy for the Super Nintendo. Those games are pretty hard. Um, and then he also hooked me up with a free three into one game impact for Nintendo 3DS, which I don't have a 3DS, so this one is also going to go in the, in the prize giveaway, which is going to be coming pretty soon. I'm, I'm right around the corner to 1,000 subscribers. So, But it's a Marvel Studios Thor. It's like a cover and a light scribe pin. Um, so pretty cool. Complete, brand new in box. Um, I did get one more thing this week, which... <sighs> um, I spent quite a bit of money on this thing, and I don't know how much I'm going to play it. Probably won't even play it at all. It's probably just going to sit somewhere. But it's pretty cool to have. And that is a nice black blockbuster box for $170, I think it was. I picked up complete in this blockbuster case, the Virtual Boy. Mm-hmm. And it is complete and in great condition. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait to test this thing out because I've been dying to try this. Okay, so it came with one game, and that is um, Red Alarm. So at least I have a game to test it out. Definitely glad to have this in my collection. Thank you very much, Leo. You know, I, I had a hard time deciding which one that I wanted. He had that one, and he had one complete in the box. And... Obviously, the one in the box is going to be a lot more, uh, so I figured I went for the cheaper one, and I'm happy with that. So that's all I got for the week. But I did get some mail from a buddy of mine, Mr. Shogun Death. I ended up buying a game off him for 20 bucks, including shipping, which was actually a really, really good deal for this game that I've been looking for for a very long time, and that is a pug. Look at this guy. Who, who couldn't love a little puppy like that? His name is Shithead. Her. Her name is Shithead. <laughs> Just kidding. Her name is Izzy. Say hello, everybody. Hello, Izzy. Woof, woof. She just had a shot. She's not feeling too good. Looks like you left a little note in here for me. And it says, Fluffy, what up, bro? Here's your game. Enjoy. I will, buddy. I will. Here's a little extra for you. Take care, man. You're a mega retro bro. I am honored. I am honored to be a part of that because that is an awesome show. If you guys haven't seen him, him and his buddy Justin, they got that, that new channel, Mega Retro Bros. If you guys haven't checked him out, 
check them out. They're already at almost at 100 subscribers right now, which is pretty pretty damn good. Um, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. All right. So, to the games that, uh, actually just one game, but it looks like he threw in a game. Uh, Mr. Shogun Death. For 20 bucks, and I've been looking for this one forever. This is the very first game that I played on the GameCube a long time ago. I remember getting stuck about halfway through the game, and I got really pissed off, and I and I quit playing it. But definitely got to have this in your in your collection if you're collecting for the GameCube. For 20 bucks shipped, I got Luigi's Mansion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great game. I'm looking forward to popping that one in and actually beating it for once. Um, you know, at least now I got uh, internet to help me get through the game. Um, he all, looks like he also threw in a PlayStation game, which I do believe I actually have this one already. So, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, but looks like you're you're also going to hook up the thousand subscriber prize giveaway, and that is uh, 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. Pretty sure I have that one. Pretty sure I have that one. But that's going to do it for this week. I am the Fluffy Gamer, and I will definitely see you guys next time. Peace.